everyone welcome back to the fabrication shop as you can see our model has been primed as well as our nose cone and our payload adapter so the next step in the process will be taking our 320 grit sandpaper putting it in a little bit of water and wet sanding the model that'll get it nice and smooth and it'll be ready for its first coat of color paint. So with that, let's get started sanding. One of the things you will notice is it doesn't take a lot to smooth this down. So here you can see the model now has been sanded down. That's all it's going to take. It's got a nice smooth surface on it. And so our next step will be to start putting color coat on it. Now I go to another YouTube channel quite frequently called Max's Models. Now on his site, he does mostly plastic models, but he's also been known to do a model rocket on occasion. And he has a really nice video on there that goes through the history of Estes Model Rocket Company. One of the things that Max has often said is make the model what you want it to be. So in this case, instead of painting our Olympus as it is on the cover sheet, we want to make it look more like a sounding rocket. Our intention is to put an electronic payload in this model maybe use it as part of a science project for a school program or a research project for an NAR competition. And so we want the model to look like a research rocket. And in this case, we're going to make it look like the Black Brant 3. The Black Brant 3 has a nice red and white color scheme, which will show up very well when we fly this model. Now in order to do this color scheme, we'll need some modeling tape. This is a waxy type of tape and it gives you nice, good, sharp, clean edges. And we'll also use some regular blue tape. Now what you'll find is we'll use this where we want our edges to be nice and sharp. And then we'll use the blue tape to kind of fill in other areas uh, that just need to be covered from the red paint. So our overall color scheme will be red. It will have a single white fin. It will have a white stripe on one side of the model. And then it has the silver nose cut. Very much reminiscent of the original Black Brand 3. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to use my Y tape to lay out the stripe down the center of the model. If you wanted, you could measure this out. I'm just kind of eyeballing it, which will work fine what we're doing here. When you put your tape down, you want to make sure you push the edges down. The better you push the edges down, and I like to take my fingernail and kind of push it down. That seems to help me get a nice clean edge when I pull the tape up. 
and you especially have to be careful here where you get to the edge of the tube. Make sure that it stays seated. We're going to take one fin and make it white. So to start off with, I'm going to use the smaller tape. Take your time while you're doing this. Don't need to be in a rush. If you take your time, get a nice straight edge, your model will look nicer and it'll just overall be a much better finish. I'm gonna do one more pass, this time with the wide tape. For the rest of the fin, I'm just simply going to use regular blue painter's tape. We're going to make a white ring at the top, just like the original black brand. Again, make sure press down on these edges because you want them to give you a good sharp crisp line. So with our model masked off we're going to go ahead and paint it red. Uh, we're using the Rust-Oleum 2X in this case it's a gloss apple red. When I use the rattle cam paint. I also use one of these triggers. This handle trigger combination, it gives me a lot better control of the paint instead of just trying to use my finger on the uh, nozzle of the paint can. These are not that expensive. I've had this one, oh, five, seven years at least. And you can see it gets quite a bit of use, but it really seems to help give you a much better, smoother, cleaner paint, paint job than just using uh, your finger on the nozzle of the rattle cam. So if you don't have one of these and you're using rattle cam paints, I would suggest going ahead and spending a few bucks and buying one. I think you'll find that once you start using it, uh, you won't want to go back to doing the finger on the on the uh, paint nozzle. And so with that, we're going to take our model and we'll paint the uh, red and we'll let all that dry. So until next time, take care. <laughs>